In the past, we've looked at players that became bust for a few reasons. Alex Daig seemingly suffered from a lack of focus, or Brian Lawton might have been overhyped from dominating a very shallow U.S. high school league. Well, today's subject doesn't fit in the typical mold. He had the right size, skill, toughness, and heart to become an NHL legend, but something outside of his control went terribly wrong. But what could derail a complete package of a player? Well, let's discover together as we go over the career of Gordon Cusack. The 6'4", 220-pound defender had all the tools. He could hit, score, move the puck, and he always had an odd number of penalty minutes. And you know you don't get those odd numbers for delay, game, or slashing. So, he did rack up 71 points in 100 games as a member of the Billings Binghorns, and that was enough to draw the attention of Boston Bruins GM Harry Sinden. After all, Kluzak had the swagger of a prototypical Big Bad Bruin. The Bruins were coming off a 50-win season, but were lucky enough to get the pick as compensation for the Colorado Rockies signing Dwight Foster. Colorado was terrible and became the New Jersey Devils, and the New Jersey Devils eventually had to cough up the first overall pick as a result. Free agency in the 80s was a different beast entirely. After being mesmerized by Kluzak and getting bribed, Brad Palmer and Dave Donnelly from Minnesota in exchange for not taking Brian Bellows the Bruins selected Kluzak as the first player in the 1982 entry draft. His career started off slowly with only 7 points in his rookie year, but it's common for big men still growing into their frames. He had a decent run in the playoffs, nearly catching his season total in points in only 17 games. His next season saw his two-way game improve, finishing second-highest Bruin defender behind the legendary Ray Bork. He looked to build on that success until an on-ice collision with the Devs' Dave Lewis derailed his entire 84-85 season. He returned in the 85-86 season and played 70 games, scoring it over a half a point a game clip with 39. In September of 86, Kluzak suffered another knee injury, this time forcing him to miss the entirety of the 86-87 season. Kluzak came back as a man on fire in 87-88, playing in only 66 games, but scoring 37 points in that time, as well as playing all 23 playoff games for the Bruins, scoring 12 points during that run to the Stanley Cup Finals. But sadly, that would be his last full season in the NHL, Knee injuries would prevent him from playing in all but 13 games over the next three seasons. The man fought to keep playing the game that he loved, and the league took notice, awarding him the Bill Masterton Trophy for perseverance, sportsmanship, and dedication to the game of hockey. After his retirement, Gord stayed in Mass, and he attended Harvard, eventually getting his NBA. He even became the Massachusetts Lottery's chief of staff. But ice hockey again called him home as he became the Bruins color analyst, eventually becoming all set with that in 2015. So the big question is, without knee problems, would he have had a great career? Without hesitation, I give a resounding yes. When he was healthy, he was the kind of guy people love having on their team. However, when you look at the players the Bruins passed on, like Bellows, Scott Stevens, Phil Housley, it's hard not to think of Gord Kluzak as anything but a draft bust. So if you liked the video, I recommend checking out our other new series that's going on about the Flyers goaltending carousel. Uh, we're on part one of a 12-part series, with the second part coming out in a mere two weeks. The other thing, Gord Kluzak says that you can't possibly hit the like and subscribe button at the same time. He says it's impossible. Give it a shot. Thank you for watching.